The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Bowser Chapman on this Friday, the very first day of September. Whew, we've already had about a week's worth of trading. Uh, very exciting. So let me just get the Dow here. I'll run these numbers and then we've got a lot to discuss. So the Dow right now is up 178. It yesterday had a Chapman wave Roman candle, inverted red Roman candle. That's where, uh, let me just open this up i'll make this a little wider so you can see exact oops i can see exactly what's going on squeak, 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 squeak. see this what happens is the long wick at the top and the body of the candle halfway from the top of the wick to the bottom um says that this is a technique that i discovered look there's another one right there um and it has a connotation there's another one right there uh, you don't often find them, but lately they've just been all over the show. So the connotation here is that if the Dow at any point holds for 90 minutes, did I say 90 minutes? I think I said 60 or 90 minutes. can't remember what I actually said in my newsletter this morning because I usually make it 90 minutes. Um, above 34,970, today's high so far is 34,979. <clears throat> Holds over that for 90 minutes, there's a really good chance that you're going to test the high of yesterday. If there is a close below uh, yesterday's low, and that's the low of 34,070.21, um, that's not a good sign at all. So here we are kind of in the middle of the range. It's been very, very good uh, action in the Dow for uh, actually overnight it was kind of mixed and then all of a sudden it ran up sharply so so far this is good action and really the dow is acting pretty nicely so what we're looking at in this particular context is um the stochastic is still only at 56 the magd is flat it's positive but kind of flattish nine period moving hasn't yet uh, crossed positive it's trying to but it hasn't yet but here's the difference have a look at the s p the s p actually um had the nine period uh, three days ago cross positive, the MACD cross positive, the stochastic is now at 86%. That's actually very good action. So that just says to me that any major sell-off that comes in in this first part of September, let's call it the first uh, two weeks of September, um, has 44.65. This is the 14 period exponential moving average as your first really important support to hold. But so far, I've been saying for quite some time that the weekly charts, even the Dow weekly chart, look at that nine period moving average over the 14. And I'm going to go straight away because I mean, this is Chapman Wave uh, Friday. This is where we look at the techniques in greater detail. <clears throat> I'm going to go to, no, not there, I want to go to right here. So in this moving average, 914 moving average, look, here's the dollar. The dollar, I said, will take time to turn around. If you're looking at this, this is a weekly, I turned it into a weekly chart. If you look at this double top that occurred, whereas that double top was all pink and it deflected lower, that's the nine period moving average under the 14. But look, this cross barely crossed, but it crossed positive. And that just says any cell signal that goes to a cell mode, now let's go back to the daily chart, uh, click right there. Um, and look how that nine is still holding so well. So I said, like the Dow, you remember when the, I said the Dow, it's a process, it'll take a while. We had an indicator that gave us that exact top on August the 1st. Yeah, we are a month later, uh, holding pretty well considering. But look at this. Um, that pink nine period moving average is getting closer and closer to turning, crossing positive. Does it cross positive and then immediately turn down? I don't know. This is the longest it's been pink since that May top going to the June low. <laughs> so that's a very long period of time. And that just says, and look, this rally uh, in the price has made higher highs and higher lows so far. So I'm trying to put it together to say, here was the top, 
and look how long it took before maybe it's going to turn back to green. Well, it's the same thing in the dollar. Here's the top right here, this double top, in fact, almost to the penny. And then what happens is it pulls back and this black 14 period moving average hasn't started to decline yet. So the nine period moving average has declined. But as long as this remains flat, it's going to take a while for the dollar to go down. Look at the EUR USD, Technical Friday. So I'm going to do everything. I'm bouncing around. That euro hasn't turned up. Look at that pink nine period moving average. It's very, very weak. Look at the USD JPY. Look at the, um, look, it's turning down. But it hasn't crossed negative. So here again, it's a process. So as I stand right now with, with what I'm looking at in the market is that look at the SMHs. <clears throat> the SMH is up 38 cents at 156.63. It's really not leading the market. But wow, I mean, what a, what a reversal. Look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA is still not pink it's still holding extremely well it's down almost for today at 489 i should also mention in the smh is that we are we are short still short from the exact well the day after the, the top uh, top was made i got a, a technical indicator to say the 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 turnaround that you're anticipating is unfolding so the next morning uh, that's the day after the top was made i said Let's see what the close is. The close was very, you said, we're about to, let me go down to the real chart. There it is. And this is this is the leader of the pack. I'm going to just see what the, uh, the trend gauge. Oh, the trend gauge is no, no sign yet of anything that gives me a clue to, to Monday, Tuesday yet there. So you look at this. Um, we're looking at the SMHs. That's the semiconductor. And I always say wherever the semiconductors go, don't don't rule out the fact that the market is probably going to follow. Well, it made an all-time high. 159.42 was the high in November of 2021. The other day we went to 161.17, uh, July the 31st. And before the open that day, we went short. And we actually still remain short. We had really nice positions in the SOXS. I almost thought about switching over here. And then I thought, no, you know... Uh, and the NVIDIA was acting very poorly. I thought, well, that's kind of a, a tell. But now look what's happening. This is this is good action. I, there's no question about it. Stochastics at 87%. MACD is good. So this is really a very, it's a mixed market. But as I said to subscribers this morning, for instance, we wanted to get into hack for years. The hack has just been hacked to death. It's just unbelievable how bad, look at this. For over a year and a half, it just kept coming down. I kept saying, this is this is the cybersecurity stocks. Why on earth are they doing so badly? And it's only now, and look, even the weekly, the monthly chart, weekly chart looks very good. Monthly chart is just turning positive now. Uh, it's at 53.28, 67, say, call it 68 was the high in November. Uh, the low was in the low 40s of, and 40.65. And here you are at uh, 53.26, lagging. Look at the IYT. This is the transports. And you like to see the transports going together with the, um, with the down. The transports are way off the high. They're trading at 251. I'll be back. Downs up 218. SPs up If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, just want to do a couple of things here. Uh, this is Technical Friday, so I'm going to jump around. And this is absolutely the very moment that I need to look at the, uh, let's go to the one minute uh, e mini SB, mini September. So first of all, there's a technique that I developed a long time ago. I have uh, two techniques based on rectangles. And basically what it says is, if I can just find my rectangle chart, there it is, that there are two kinds of uh, rectangles. One is the narrow rectangle. I have a whole bunch of f sort of formulae that go with this. And then there's the large rectangle. And I, in my webinars, I do a whole, I did it in the last one, talk about it because I've already had webinars based on the rectangles. Um, so somehow or other, I'm getting the feeling that I need to do a little bit more in the way of having these classes for the uh, different techniques. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, in the long rectangle, it can go sideways for quite a while. Sometimes it go all the way through uh, the evening, just sideways between an, an, a seven or eight point trading or 10 point trading range in the SV. That's nothing. You can do that in the blink of an eye here. But what happens is, from the identifiable low bar, in this particular instance right here, you go sideways, and then, in this case, look, the green 9 period moving average is just held positive. I, I'm saying this even though I did try once or twice. I had a couple of successful and then unsuccessful. Uh, I just couldn't help it uh, in this particular pattern. Think, and, and I'm the one that talks about the rule that says um, in a um, – oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't there. It was here. It was earlier on in the morning. Early in the morning, we got the same sort of rectangle, and then we had peak D, had a nice uh, uh, turn down, and then a bounce, and then another turn down. So um, I was watching this. This is the one where I was just watching. So you go A to B, and I thought, is this going to be a two-click session after all that messing up in the, in the beginning, uh, just um, kind of unchanged in the end after all that messing around? But will it be a top because it goes into a narrow trading range, but you, you're, you're from this low, you've got to count each successively high bar. So this is an A and that's a B. Uh, this cannot be an A right here because that's the very bar that makes the high. Yeah, it, isn't a, it isn't a peak or it isn't a trough until you get to the next bar. So this is, this is still a leg. That becomes a trough. So now I can go A, B, it pulls back. This is the starting point. That's an A. I didn't put it in. That's an A. 
That's a B, even though this went a little lower than that. Here's your starting point. Here's your C, and what's the rule of thumb? If it just sneaks out of that long rectangle, and it has to be long, um, and goes to a D, maybe an E, but usually it's the D. Almost always it's the D. And then comes back and takes out the midpoint. See this little dashed line right here? If it takes out the midpoint, be careful, because you can quickly go down to the rectangle low, the horizontal low, and even take it out. And if you take it out, be careful because you can quite easily go one to one to the downside. Well, as I we were doing that, we got a nice trigger. It looked nice flip to, to, to negative right there. Very nice turn down. Uh, in the den, JB texted in to say, I wasn't even thinking about this because I, I was busy doing my stuff and I look into the den and all of a sudden I see um, a little note that says, Oh, I won't be able to find it now, but uh, JB said something like um, uh, he gets a G, he gets a D. Uh, sorry, he gets a G. Most people in the in Chapway methodology, um, it's a little difficult for them to actually see the G and do something about it. But he said, got the G, and he was absolutely correct in the 10-minute chart. There it is. There's your starting point right there at 3, 3 in the morning. I wasn't up, thank goodness, but I was up a little sooner after that. And then it goes peak A, B, C, D, E. I have a Fibonacci here that, that got, uh, got taken out. I didn't use that at all. In fact, I'm only looking at seeing it right now. Sometimes I, li I look right through these things. And it, you had this whippy action at 8.30 because of the jobs report. Um, and then all of a sudden it goes chick, 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 and makes a new, a new high. But because that's your starting point, you can think F slash A, but that's not an A until you get to the next bar. So this holds, that became an A. But very quickly after that, it bounced to another high and uh, turned down sharply. And there's your G. And where does, what was the level that I was talking at? about for, for a couple of days now was the 4530 level um, in the e-mini that goes back weeks and weeks and weeks. By this by this point, it must be over a month and a half, and that it would become important. And look how important it was. We went under it, over it, under it, and now we're over it. And, to, and for the rest of the day, 4530 is what you've got to keep your eye on. Where did this go to? Uh, oh, so here's the other thing. You see this plus sign? If you're busy following this, and then it crosses the 45, 30 level, and then the the nine flips back to green. That's that's what you got to follow. And then I use this as a phantom peak. I do that because look right here at exactly this level. Whoops, it's starting to move. At exactly this level right here, you got a little dip that said. Think of this more as a phantom peak. In other words, it wasn't really a C, but you want to get to the D as you want to make sure that you're not at a C waiting for a D and waiting for a D when all your technical indicators say, uh -uh, that really was a D. And that became a phantom C. And there's my D. Then the cup formation said, look, the technicals are failing. If I was waiting for the C, I might have called the C1 and C2. But look what happened. Now look where we are. The high was 45, about 45, 40, 50, 45, 45, 40.50. And then we suddenly dipped down to 45, 33.75, um, I would have missed that. It could still go to the D, but I'm ready. And I've already, if I wasn't in this particular point, I would have taken something off. I would have said, hey, I, I might be wrong. And then I would have had to stop. I probably would have been stopped out as well. Not a big deal because this is the preparation. And then, then what I wanted to say is then I go back because I have to always see these things and make them as clear as possible in the Chapman methodology. That was a buy signal that went to a buy mode, so it deserved to have an up arrow. I only put a plus sign, but I like to correct it. I like, I'm, not, I'm not falsifying anything. I'm not form-fitting. I'm not doing anything. I'm correctly notating that a buy signal to at least a peak D was made. Therefore, it should have an up arrow. I'm correcting something. Whether or not it interfered or, or it played a part in my trading has got nothing to do with the actual technique. Now look what's happening. We're making an arch formation. Was I correct in calling that a D? We still don't know, but it worked very well, right? Because 
in this particular instance, now you're expecting the S to form so that it hasn't done it yet, and you can't anticipate it's going to be the full one-minute bar. We still have some uh, uh, 54 seconds to go. So in this particular instance, yep, here's your new bar. So it turned, flipped to an S, which means sell. That's just sell the 914. It doesn't mean sell the position. It says that particular indicator just went to a sell signal. That's all. Now, look, the MACD's weak, stochastic weak. Okay, I thought I'd do some of that. There are a lot of you that now use the Chapman Wing methodology in different techniques. Some of you don't do this at all. Some of you use Phantom P. Doesn't matter. I've got it. Now we're going to go to the, to the rest of the show. Well, I can show you a couple of other things that, to me, are going to be very important for next week's trading. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, so the other thing I just wanted to do is to, look, when this turned pink on the one minute, I have to put a down arrow. It doesn't matter if it goes back there, it's a down arrow because all the technicals closing under the 14 period moving average for at least two bars means you automatically have to put in a down arrow. Sell signal doesn't mean to say sell mode, but it is a sell signal. Um, but my thinking is going to go into sell mode, but that's my thinking. Well, let's see what happens. I have no position right now because I just uh, am in the middle of the show. Sometimes I try to grab it. So congratulations, GT, because you did get your... Um, you did get your FXI call, 
out and it's in a leg C to the upside. This is the China large cap ETF. Let me give you an A. Hey, give me an A. Give me a B. Give me a C. At the 200 period moving average, it should start to stall uh, for a couple of days. I haven't got a buy mode. This is actually still a buy signal. I need to see that stochastic at 71 go to 80%. And the nine period moving average did today cross positive, and that's a good sign. So it's very close to, uh, yeah, I've got an up a plus sign, but I haven't got the up arrow yet because the weekly chart just is stuck in the range, but you had the calls. Congrats. XPEV, just real quickly, XPEV, we spoke about this yesterday. Whoa, I typed it on the chart. Nope, type it over here. Okay, X, XPEV is trading at, um, got a call there as well. Very good. So this is actually a leg, a C as well. It looks just like the uh, FXI. Um, that should be uppercase, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down, A and a B and a C. All right, very good. This one's a little bit more open. The stochastic is at 89%. Remember, we spoke about this yesterday, and I said this one's acting a little bit better than some of the others. Um, I don't want to go through them right now, but uh, Tesla was the one that came up. So this is a question that came up. Um, I, I spoke about it yesterday. I said Tesla's made a peak B. From the way I'm looking at it with a stochastic at 90% and the MACD good and the nine-period moving average crossing positive, I think this is a good sign, but it's very close to the next resistance level, which is right here on this bar of the 4th of June at 264.73. Yesterday, the high was 261.18, and it's pulling back today. And as I said, it's the weekly chart that we've got to monitor closely. The 9 is still over the 14. But the, the other technical indica indicators are saying that it's going to have to be – sudden news that really takes it strongly higher and that if I'm correct in this assessment of Tesla, if by it, it's my rule of 136 means that if there is a correction of one day or one bar and then it goes to a new recovery high or on the way down, recovery low, that's really bullish or bearish. If it takes three days, that's okay. It took three days and the fourth day it ran up. Here yeah, I'm saying when you get to B, this is where if it very quickly goes to a C, but not just a tad above, it's got to go to a very strong C, probably at 263.16 or higher. 263, that's 12 points from where we are right now. Well, that's what it needs to do. Um, and then that would be very positive. But this is exactly, and I think I did the 120-minute chart. Did I not notate it? I thought I did. I didn't. And this is... Um, a, B, A, B again, C, D, E, F. So a little double top right here, 200 period exponent. Is this the right one? Did I get rid of the wrong? No, it looks like it. Yeah, so this is right at the 200 period moving average magnet of 251. Uh, my suspicion it might just chop around there for a little bit. But if it has a deeper slide on Tuesday into Wednesday and actually goes below 2 uh, 246, that's just not going to be good, a good sign in the short term for Tesla. I uh, hope that helped you, Jane, and, and the others who wrote me about it. So I just wanted to read this here. Um, uh, let's see. Jeff says, look at Intel breaking out. Yep, this Intel has been acting pretty decently. Well, it was, and then it took a dive. So Intel took a dive right there from that peak D. And this is a very good move. Look at this weekly chart. It's got this U-shaped pattern which says that it, it should make a, it should try to test the previous high of 37.19 on the 31st of July. It's at 36.27 right now in leg B. But the stochastics only at 7%. On balance volume is actually a little bit overbought. And the MACD is good, but it's had a very quick move to the upside, which says it could slow down a little bit. So right now, Intel is acting well. If you look at the monthly chart, it's improving. It's not great. It's just improving. And if you look at the weekly chart, it's looking very nice. There's a rectangle formation that went from a lowercase h to a lowercase m. 24.59 was the low October, the week of the 14th of October. And the week of the 3rd of March, it went to 24, that's last year, of course, 24.73, just just a, a hair, 25 less than 25 cents above that 
low. That's a successful H to M pattern. Says that if it starts to close above the arch highs in the 30 point, let's call it 30 area, that's really good. Well, it went to a D. And then it pulled back and now it's EF. It could even be an alternate count F slash C. That's what I'm saying. If you look at some of these charts, that the laggards are trying to come on now very strongly. And that's that's this rotational aspect. And that just says to me, people are talking about a crash in this in this particular phase right now. They could be 100% correct, but I absolutely do not see anything like it right now. It's oh, and then the question came in. I've got my two thirds in my the S and P. Where would you? Do? I'd say have a little patience. Uh, don't that extra third? It's there. It's like it's like a security blanket. If you don't get it, that's fantastic because the market's on the sort of the upside, and you've got cash for other things. But keep that. Just I'm looking at this, and I I almost got. I tried. You know, we, we tried to flip from the. Um, I, I not flip, but I kept the short position in the Dow, and I've been having trading positions, and we had it. And the the day of the turnaround, I just said let's step back, and then we saw this big move to the upside, which would have been a three times long trading position, which would, be, would have been great. I I'm looking at this and saying I don't know if I'm going to get another chance like that, because that low that was made. Let me just go back to the Dow, right here. Oh, and do you? That low that was made right there at 34,028. Yeah, we've had a nice move up, but if you put it into the context of the others, look at that. That S&P, it's, it's made a two-thirds retracement from the 4507 half of the 27th of July down to the, oh, did I forget to type that in? Down to the 4340-something, 4335-31. Uh, uh, let me type that in. 43. 35, I think I said 5, when 35, I should remember that. Anyway, so look at this move. That's a 200-point move in the S&P. That's a big move. So I'm impressed, and I'm impressed with the weekly chart. So it might be after this that suddenly, you know, there are a lot of things that are coming on. I mean, I'm not, I, I don't want to get into anything that, that uh, I can't verify and I haven't been able to verify, but I think that these two old guys that are, are vying for the presidency, um, there's a lot going on that could make the market become really nervous. Uh, and we'll talk about that as, as it comes. So with that said, uh, we're going to go to a break. And I didn't, uh, I've got Tesla, we did. FXI did. CRDF I'll do. And then bots I'll do when I reach here. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. So this is what I, I, I like to talk about is that if you can make focal points, in this case, this is from ages ago. It wasn't even our purview uh, right up until, uh, was it early yesterday or the day before, when suddenly 45.30 became a focus. It, for weeks, um, just it wasn't even in the, in the cards. And then all of a sudden, now look at this. Since 5.30 on the 20, actually it goes even back further than that. Does it? Doesn't matter. So right here on the 529, 530, let's say, on the, on the, what is it, 9-1? Oh, that's today. No, it can't be. Yeah, oh, that's today. Wow, what a day it's been. So I'm going back further than that. But look, this, this uh, trend line, just a horizontal trend, just put it in there, let it sit, didn't even bother about it. Look how many times it's been hit. Look how important it's become. Look at this. Look how this line has become the springboard for every single move up for hours. Even that one single plop to the downside at 8.30, it was up above it. And then it came down. Then went below it. And now it's over making this arch formation. I'm not going to do a left side, right side price time match at this particular point because I had just too many questions coming in. Here we go. So let's get back to our questions. Get out of this. Here we go. <clears throat> We're at 45.30. Um, isn't that interesting? This is on the e-mini. Let's just go back here. So here's this VIX index. Look at this inverted V-shaped pattern. Uh, back to the 1316 level. But look at the stochastic at 2.75. I don't, unfortunately, have an on-balance volume. But this says we're real close to a little bit of a bounce from 2.76. We'll see where it goes in the VIX index. Uh, it doesn't have to be today. I'm saying this is where you start to get where it's... This is the way the books say it's oversold. And I say, no, if you're short, this is fantastic. This is where you want to stay. But at 2%, it, it can go to 1%. But it's, the next big move is not going to be to zero. It never goes to zero. It's going to be a little bit of a bounce. And you've got to be ready for that. Okay. So with that said, um, I did that, did that, did that. So triple M, uh, triple M. Nice bounce with a huge island reversal. Uh, it's trading at 107.35. Is this the big turn for Triple M? But this is what I'm saying. In this next move, I would not be surprised. Look, look, look at what's, what's happening here. CRM got smacked. I mean, just decimated. Uh, even the last move from the three, almost 340 area down to 200, that, that's a big percentage move. But look how quickly it's moved up. Good earnings. Um, it made a lower low from the gap yesterday, but it's still back inside. It's an inside day so far. Well, it's gone outside, but so far it's inside. Look at the weekly chart. Nine period moving average did not cross negative. So I'm saying this is a rotational market. That's the reason why I can't say to you, oh, oh, my God, we're going down, not just to whatever it is, but to the October low. 
No, I don't see that at all. Not in this particular phase right now. Not when you've got a hack breaking out. Not when you've got sectors that are important that are doing so well. Hack got hacked, as I said before. This is the cybersecurity ETF. And I can go through all of them. But when the IYT, that's the transportation index, this is telling me that all is not well in the land of Denmark. Anyway, what we're looking at is it's a rotational market. So the next question came in, could I look at bots? This is something we actually own. I'll be wanting to add to it. I just haven't been ready. And isn't that interesting? Global X robotics and AI, everything's AI. I mean, even, low, even your local focal people are talking about AI. I mean, you're just your buddies who never talk the stock market. Didn't they say something to you about AI is going to kill the world? Okay, that's just the way people... The, the world, when people look at things, they're either looking at negatively or positively. Uh, but most of the time, it's gray. We're in the middle. Uh, and all I can say is that AI will turn into an incredible benefit for some areas and a horrible thing for others. We'll find out. Hey, do you think that the, uh, the, the folks in the producers and all for everything, whether it's commercials or anything, aren't just lapping it up? They're going to get rid of people. They're going to get rid of technology. They're going to have AI to deal with this. And there's a whole new productive era coming, but it's also going to be at the cost of jobs. That's the reason why there's a particular stock that I'm trying to add to. We've got, and it's been fantastic. I want to add to it. I've tried a couple of times, very, very fairly tight stops. Hasn't worked. I'm trying to get this one because I think this is in an area that just says in the larger spectrum, this is what you'd be looking at. So now that, that's a CRDF, CR Cardiff. I think this is a, this is a biotech. Uh, yeah, I think so. This is Cardiff Oncology. <laughs> yeah, sure is. You can see by this, uh, this pyramid, this Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down monthly, going from under a dollar to $25. And <laughs> back again, it's trading now at $1.88. Yeah, this kind of rectangle move especially when you go under 200 period moving average, screams up to a peak and fails. This is just so biotech. I mean, in fact, it must be very much like working in the lab. You got the thing and you get excited and it's the weekend. You can't wait to get into Monday morning to see whether or not it's a fantastic break, world class breakthrough. And then there's just something that just isn't quite right. I mean, that's biotech, right? Look at this, sitting on the 200 period moving average. This is trying to form a base. At 1.88, I can't remember what you asked me about, but you did say CRDF. I'm just saying to you, because it's biotech, when it sits like this and sits like this, you, you can prepare whichever way you want, whether it's optional, I don't care what it is, but you can prepare for a sudden spike to the upside. Be prepared if this starts to trade on a two-day basis under 172. It's at 188 right now. <clears throat> You're going to wait a little longer. But it's right now bumping at the door of the rectangle high. Rectangle high, say, lasts a lot longer than your patience. So let's just see what happens. But at 188, what you want to see is not just a breakthrough to the upside, but you see this candle right here, the very first candle, the last candle that had a high of 1.95. That can, If it can just touch 196 and then hold 191 and then go to 1, sorry, to to 2.03 over a period of two weeks without, I'd, I'd have to say, without taking out the 200 period moving average. That's your first sign that says, because when this moves, it moves really quickly. And when it stalls, it stalls really slowly. So I'm just saying that'll be your quick move. Then you can jump on the bandwagon. All right, that's that. Next question was, so this is what I'm thinking of here because, um, I, I want you to do it for myself, and I think that I'm going to – I have. I, I better check on it, but I'm almost sure I'm going to come back and do Steve's show. Um, he's away. I'll do Steve's show straight off the mine, um, and I think it's important to do just for mine because tomorrow I'll do my overview for my subscribers, an hour-long overview. Or oh, I don't know if it'll be an hour, but so either below, uh, more or less, but about an hour, because we're looking at what's coming up in September, and we're trying to prepare ourselves for that. So I think, yes, I'm going to say to my engineer, yes, I will be back. I just have to double check, but I'm pretty sure I can make that time. And uh, this is, look at this, the arch formation. 
Oh, I said I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. I should have done it. What, have, what would I have done? I'll draw this in. It'll be a little late, but I will, I'll draw this into a particular candle right there and see if we've got a left side, right side, Christ time match. Well, symmetry. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, I You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So this is what I drew in, and it's a particular candle that I like to look at. Now, the left side low is over there. I could have taken it to the top. At peak D, but I don't do that if it's if it looks if now this is the way it's a visual thing because sometimes you want to do it exactly to the number of bars going up to the number of bars going down. In this particular instance, I had to move it first to the one, and that's exactly where it is. Look, I drew this in. I didn't put the X in normally. I'd put an X in there. That would be the X right there. Okay, so we're just taking it right now, 45.22. We're under the 200-period exponential moving average with the dreaded H. What's the dreaded H? I'll talk about that. But there are so many stocks that I was asked about <clears throat> that, I, that I will do Steve's show. Steve's hour, it's not his show. He's got his fantastic technique. I'm not going to do anything with that. But this is the dreaded H pattern. Looks like it goes straight down. It makes an arch, fails at a peak A or B, and takes out the left side low. In this case, it went to a peak A right there. It's made a lower low, so that becomes an A minus. 
Okay. So, okay. With that said, let me just sum this up real quickly for those of you who aren't able to hear the next hour. Um, as I see it right now, there's a choppy phase coming, a very choppy phase coming. And um, doesn't mean to say we have to take out even the low of the other day, although my suspicion is that it's going to surprise on the downside. And I'll talk about different things. I didn't even get into the bonds. I didn't get into the crude oil. There are a lot of things that I need to talk about. So I'll be back for the next hour. And um, so there. Yeah. So within, within that question, for those of you in the den, you can throw in a couple of extra, extra symbols you want me to look at. And uh, we'll, we'll do that. So that's the for Tiger Christmas Hour. You hope you can my date. Better check it out front page of PFN. You'll see that, and I'll be back for another time.